cool. All right, so uh, this next wrap is, uh, we can actually kind of apply the same principles for either a quadricep or the posterior part of the um, thigh, you know, the, the hamstring, okay? All right, so um, I'm honestly, actually I'll do this first before I do the wrap, but I'll just show you this. Um, I actually like to get a, um, some of these like neoprene types of uh, wraps where they're, you know, Velcroed and kind of like one size fits all, so I like to use those. Um, uh, when I'm, you know, dealing with uh, like quad or hamstring strains, uh, but again, you might not have something like that, so we just go to the traditional, um, you know, ace wrap. So I've got a, uh, I'll use this one right here, this uh, six inch uh, regular, and again, you got different uh, brands and different styles of ace wraps. So um, what we want to do, all things considered, um, that. Uh, spray the leg in order to make it more tacky so the um, ace wrap will stick better and i kind of use this um kind of like a diagonal kind of tiered um, application of the ace wrap so um you know if we're dealing with like you know quad that rectus femoris it's you know a little little sore uh, i'll start just above the knee and i'll start actually in this case i'm going to just start um, uh, outwards or laterally and I'm kind of going down the leg, so kind of at an angle going down that way. And as I come up this way, then I'm kind of going at an upwards angle. Um, and the reason for that is the leg is not a true um, uh, cylinder. It's more kind of like a funnel shape. So I'm just trying to make the, the ace kind of fit a little bit better. And so we're just kind of using that same principle. And if you'll see it here in a second as we kind of just do the... Um, couple uh, rounds of this uh, wrap here where you'll kind of see the you know, like the pattern start to develop okay. right. so if you kind of see that you know the like angle down as these are angling upwards uh, hey um, we're gonna actually have more than enough ace wrap here so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly then continue to add a little bit more compression this way. We don't want to go over the knee because we want the athlete to be able to, you know, flex their knee fine. Um, I might have even gone with a different size uh, ace wrap. So, uh, you know, one not as long and all that. Again, some are here. The, like traditional or regular size versus the double length. Um, never end your ace wraps on the inside of the body part or medial because it could, you know, like fall off, especially if you don't secure it well. Um, uh, so again, all things considered here, uh, I don't endorse, you know, doing the clips uh, for, you know, um, activity. I'm just doing this right now just to kind of hold it in place just to show you. So um, secure it just like we did um, uh, the other ace wraps. Uh, I like to use the Coflex and you're going to just do the same thing where you're going to um, follow your pattern. Okay. Uh, you always have to be a little concerned too with the fact that when you put something on like this that it's not on so tight that the athlete uh, you know has a hard time moving um, so sometimes it's a little trial and error where you have to where you have to work with um, you know uh, maybe you you know got to do it once or twice to get the you know right amount of compression and tension okay and then I just go ahead and in this case, since I have a little left here tape-wise, let's go ahead and just tear that off and then secure that down. And so, again, you can use that same principle, you know, backside if you're, you know, trying to get their hamstring. Some people actually even use, like, pads where they'll put, like, a, a piece of um, a foam pad, whether it be, a, you know, a quarter to a half an inch, you know, especially over the area where it's sore, to kind of use it as a compression device on that uh, uh, area where the muscle is strained. So uh, those are also options. But just so you get an idea of just kind of a basic uh, thigh wrap, so it can be used for uh, quadricep or your hamstring, okay?